Hey guys, welcome to my classroom. Today I'm going to teach you how to use order of operations when dealing with negative numbers. So I hope that you find this easy and that you enjoy this lesson. So let's get to it. In order to do order of operations with negative numbers, you need to remember how to do orders of operations with just positive numbers. So you may recall that you, this would be the order of operations. You do parentheses, then the exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So some people look at this and have learned PEMDAS. Some people have learned to remember this by, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So remember that the P is for the parentheses, E is for the exponents, M is for multiplication, D is division, A is addition, and S is subtraction. So I normally say, okay, what would Aunt Sally want us to do next? To remind you guys that we need to use the order of operations, which you can remember by thinking of, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So if we just go with positive integers, um, for example, we could have 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 6 squared. Okay, so according to Aunt Sally, we need to do the parentheses first. So what is in the parentheses is 5 plus 3, so when you add that together, you would get 8, and you're still left with times 2 plus 6 squared. So then according to Aunt Sally, you are supposed to do exponents next. So we would do 6 squared, which is the same as 6 times 6, which is 36. So we are still left with 8 times 2 plus 36. Then we need to do multiplication or division, whichever one is there. So we have 8 times 2 is 16, and then we still have plus 36. So then you do 16 plus 36, and you will get your answer. Okay, let's try another example with positive numbers. So how about 9 minus 3 times the quantity of 6 divided by 2? Okay, so according to Aunt Sally, we have to do parentheses first. So within the parentheses, we have 6 divided by 2. So I'm going to write what, I'm gonna, what I would keep. So this is 3 times whatever is in the parentheses, and that would be 3. So I have subtraction here and multiplication. What does Aunt Sally say we have to do first? Well, that would be the multiplication. So you have 9 minus, well, what's 3 times 3? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0. So that would be your answer. Okay, so when you have negative numbers, there is really no difference here. So how about um, we try this example? 7 minus negative 2 squared. Okay, so we have some subtraction and we have an exponent. Aunt Sally says we do the exponent first. So we would have 7 minus whatever negative 2 squared is. Remember, squared means negative 2 two times. So negative 2 times negative 2. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 2 times 2 is 4, so we have positive 4. So this would be 7 minus 4 and 7 minus 4 is 3. Pretty easy. See how I am also writing my answers and it kind of comes into a upside down triangle? It is very important that you show your work and that you write out each step to get to your final answer. Here would be another example. 20 divided by 4 minus 14 divided by 2. Okay. We have division and subtraction. What does Aunt Sally say we need to do first? That would be division. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. Then we're left with whatever 14 divided by 2 is. That would be 7. So now we have 5 minus 7. So be very, very careful here. A quick review with integers. If you only have $5 and you try to subtract 7, you're going to go into debt. So remember that this would be like starting at 5 on the number line and then you're subtracting 7. So you're going to go this direction, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this would be 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So 5 minus 7 is negative 2. I think one more example will do it. Negative 8 times the quantity of 2 minus 6 divided by 2. Okay, 
Aunt Sally says parentheses first. So we're going to have negative 8 times whatever this outcome is. Well, 2 minus 6, okay, if I start at 2 and I move left 6 on the number line, you will end on negative 4. So negative 8 times negative 4 divided by 2. So since it's multiplication and division, those you just do from left to right. So negative 8 times negative 4 would be a positive 32. So now we have 32 divided by 2. So 32 divided by 2 is 16, and that's your final answer. Okay, there's one more thing I think I should touch on. Sometimes if you use, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, it can be confusing because you think you strictly have to do multiplication before you do division, or that you have to do addition before you do subtraction. That is not the case. So let's say I have 10 minus 3 plus 4. Okay, because in PEMDAS, the A comes before the S, some people think that you have to do addition before subtraction. But remember, this is, this is just kind of a trick to help you remember the order of operations. It is not set that it is addition before subtraction. It is addition or subtraction from left to right. Just like reading a book, you do addition and subtraction from left to right. Whichever one comes first, that's what you do first. The same with multiplication. You do multiplication or division from left to right. So in this case, you would do 10 minus 3 before you did the addition. So 10 minus 3 is 7 plus 4. So 7 plus 4 is 11, and that would be your answer. So here would be an example for multiplication and division. So let's say 6 divided by 3 times 4. Okay, some people think that you automatically have to do the multiplication before the division, but they're opposites of each other. You just do them in order from left to right, just like you're reading. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 4 is 8. Hello, I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did learn something from the lesson, you can give me a thumbs up so that I know that you learned something from today's lesson. And you can stay tuned for next time. I uh, will be back in Katie's classroom to do my next lesson. And this is Leah. Say hi, Leah. Bye.